Let's go with you. Do you have any mistakes that you always think about? Except the marriage bit, because I think a lot of you might be like, yeah, that was a mistake. Good morning, YouTube. We're back with another vlog because we're in another city for another event for the IEC, some entrepreneurs collective. Bunch of these organizations running around the country. I'm sure they're doing a good job and uh, they're certainly doing a good job if they're inviting me to speak to their members because they know the importance of leveling up. But that said, there's a lot of mess behind me. We got in... Uh, to the city around nine in the night, and then I had to do another workout. But that said, I'm really enjoying the room. It's kind of dated, but it's fine. It's gone through a couple of renovations, I'm sure, because apparently the building was erected like 25 years back. But we're enjoying it, to be honest. So what we did last night when we got to the room is we did a little blanket exercise where we called in for coffee, the kind of coffee we like, the Nescafe Gold. And we also called for almonds because we soak them overnight, right? So this is something you can have first thing in the morning. It's very important to have fats first thing in the morning. Well, we called for makanas. My sister called for shampoo. So a bunch of things. I think that was a really cool exercise that we did. Really makes our morning smooth because the coffee you get in hotels is plain nasty. I'm going to show you a quick view of how the sun is coming in. It's, it looks pretty nice and soothing. To be honest, isn't it? It looks pretty nice. Then we're gonna hit the gym. I'll show you the gym, it's quite something. It's got a whole boxing setup in the middle of the gym. Old equipment, but works just fine. Pretty interesting setup. And um, yeah, I'm pretty excited to share that with you and the rest of the day. So let's see how that goes. Alrighty, this is how the sun is setting in. The rays are flowing in, looks beautiful. But we're quite messy, so excuse us. But yeah, so this is what they want you to eat, but this is what you're not going to eat. You're going to order your own stuff. Oh, we also ordered like a breakfast tea tea bag and we ordered some makanas. I had my protein last night as well, right? These are makanas and this is your protein. So anyway, trying to make better choices and now it's time for the gym. All right, one last point. I worked out right before bed and I'm ready to work out again only because I'm not gonna get time throughout the day. There's a couple of meetings, a couple of people wanna come in and say hi uh, because of work. And then there's the event at night, so after that I'm gonna be plain exhausted. Maybe I'll do some cardio if I can, but I really don't think I'll get the time, so this is the only time I'll get. Also, I slept a full, I think, seven hours. So that way, uh, it was very easy to get this done. One cool thing I like about this room is there's this privacy screen. So um, you can basically shut this right? You can shut this. And now on the other side, if someone else is there, they can change and stuff. I think that's pretty cool because we're sharing the room. Really like this. Good design, I must say. So it says open for privacy, but great design. Yeah. Awesome. Now it is time to go build these gains and it's going to be an arms day, which is our favorite day. Alrighty, we are on our way for a workout. You see some people are sleeping in while some are having breakfast and while others are moving. It's just your choices that are defining your reality. And that's how life is gonna go. Well, let me show you this. This one's for the ladies. A lot of these stores selling all kinds of stuff. Some of it actually looks tasteful. So yeah, I mean, don't know how it is really, but there you go, son. So we got to visit the Gurdwara and my sister forgot a stole. Can you imagine? So yeah, we're just going to head to the gym now. This alley is pretty decent looking. I'll show you how the gym is. Here we are. Check this out, bro. Proper gym. Noisy AF. People are screaming. But people are working out. Very old ass equipment, but it does the job, really does the job. Check this out. And the guy was telling me that it hasn't needed like a cable change ever. It's 25 years old, apparently. Of course, I can't say what the truth is. Pretty decent stuff, man. A total cable setup, which we always appreciate in hotel gyms. A Smith setup, overall like a proper gym. But the trick always is find out if they do invite outdoor guests for a fee and this gym does no wonder it's that good 
right? So this is a little gym tour, a lot of cardiovascular machines where of course majority of the people find themselves but you want to strength train and do your cardio. So yeah, with this, I'm gonna get my workout started and let's see how it goes. Alrighty fam, what I've done is, I've done barbell curls for the biceps, seated hammer dumbbell curls for the biceps, tricep push down with the rope and tricep overhead extension with the rope for the triceps. And now it's time to do something else for the biceps and triceps. I don't have a lot of time. I've been working out for 38 minutes. Someone's coming for breakfast. One of the gentlemen who's organized this entire event. So I've got a rush, but I always want to try a machine. You know, I always want to try it because this is such old school equipment. I think this is going to just hit properly. So let's see, let's figure out the height. Okay. The height seems fine. We're gonna do biceps first, or we can do like a bi tri superset. Let's go with that actually, and see how that treats us. Yeah, okay, let's do this one. Yeah. It's really comfy though. There's a lot of cushioning here. Okay, we're good. Wait. Nah, something's not right. Or all these creatures seem damn comfy because the cushioning is mad. There's mad cushioning as you can see. And now let's try triceps. I don't even know how it's supposed to happen. But... <laughs> okay. Oh, pretty cool. We're gonna just increase the weight. <laughs> then it's gonna be proper. Okay, this says, 115 on this, don't even know what that means, pounds, 115 pounds, but that's far too heavy. Yeah, buddy. Ah. All right, pretty impressive. Pretty damn impressive. Good, good uh, connection, muscle mind connection. But yeah, this is the buy and try set up by Paramount Select Fitness. <laughs> Pretty cool stuff, man. We need to get more of this OG equipment. Just makes you want to go harder. The fancier the equipment, the weaker you get anyway. But anyway, this was my workout. Now I'm gonna go for breakfast. Very basic choices again. I'm gonna have eggs. Even though it's Navratri, I'll have my eggs. I'll have eggs. And uh, I'll have a chila if it's possible, a dosa. And what else can I have? Fruits. I'll have a like a juice. I don't want to do a coffee because I did that in the morning. And that's about it. That's basically what my life is. It's a bunch of basic things put together. I sound like a broken record, but I think repetition is quite necessary. And I'm having a jolly good time just guiding you people on this journey. Get to your hotel gyms. Come exert yourselves, overcome yourselves. You're going to be so happy. You won't care about the result. The result may or may not come. Like these days, my videos on Instagram are just not performing for some reason. The algorithm's off. Maybe my videos are off. I can't say. But the point is, we're just churning it out. We're just putting it out there. We're recording our day, putting it out there in the hope that it will assist somebody. And if it does assist somebody, the video's gonna pick up sooner rather than later. Anyway, I'm gonna end the workout in a while. Properly end it with the uh, tricep push-ups, the diamond push-ups, and the chin-ups. And I'm just gonna rush and get done with this. See you later. What a solid workout, man. At the end of it, the trainer there made me do like supersets. I think which really did the job as they were supposed to. Pretty happy and I'm ready to eat like a beast. Someone's joining out for breakfast, as I already mentioned, but yeah. I think it was pretty solid overall. Now my sister needs to come downstairs and take me up. I need to wash my hands and like apply some deodorant. Okay, we're here. We're gonna do a quick pump check. That's the pump, not the best, but I think it's uh, because of travel. But it's okay, I'm pretty happy with the way things are going. I feel leaner than before for sure because of uh, zone two cardio. But yeah, overall decent workout. Uh, gonna apply some deodorant. 
because without that, things are gonna get very troublesome. Ooh, wait. We're gonna grab the mic in our hands. Yeah, anyway, douse myself in this. <coughs> and now we are ready to go get some nutrition into our bodies. So this was my morning routine in the hotel on a work trip. Wake up, grab a coffee, hit the gym. Non-negotiables out of the way. Now I'm gonna come back, get ready, and I'm gonna go have a coffee with a college friend. And also gonna read. So I wanna do basically all my non-negotiables before the day even begins, right? I'm gonna take a cold shower as well. And uh, finally, I have my event at 6.30. And beyond that, the day is slightly out of my control because what if they want to hang out with me after that? What if they want to dine with me after that? I can't really say no to all of that. And I shall yield control for that part of the day. But before that, the day is mine. My mind is under my control and that's how we're going to conduct ourselves. Okay, just got done with breakfast. Couldn't really vlog because there were like three, four dudes in front of me chatting. Good conversation, really good conversation scintillating conversation as I like to call it. Now I'm gonna take a quick shower. For breakfast I had a chila, besan da chila. What else did I have? I had eggs, I had a dosa. I had a lot, I had half a paratha and I had watermelon juice, which was dope. It was off the hook, but pretty happy with the workout. I'm gonna take a quick shower and we wanna visit uh, like a Gurdwara today as well. That's very important to us. We're gonna do that in the evening, the event takes over. Pretty exciting day, and which is why it's being vlogged, son. All right, so my mic is out of battery, but I'm here with a very dear friend, senior from college. Let's go. Hello, hi. <laughs> All right, it's a like, real pleasure seeing her. She's from Ludhiana. You've been married about five years, and she has a child, doesn't look like it, right? But anyway, it's, a, it's been a fun trip to Ludhiana, and now I'm gonna go have lunch or something. I'll show you what that looks like. Vamos. So my sister forgot the dupatta, and now, of course, we can't go to the Gurdwara without it. You got it? Yeah. We saw a few at the hotel. The hotel has like a bunch of shops. You know how they do? But they were so damn expensive and like not worth it. 8K, 7K for like, average stuff so we didn't get it how much did this one cost two and do you like it yeah I love it. okay we saved 6k son which we're gonna spend at lunch like 50 percent of that we're still making better choices and the plan is to go get good food right fancy houses the city has man but yeah we're gonna go to the gurdwara for our mind and a nice cafe for our body. On our travels, we've come to Gurdwara Thada Sahib, which is a historical Gurdwara. And I'm so happy I get to visit these places. And I think God has made it possible and he's ensured that we come here and pay respects. It's really never been our plan. It's always been God's plan. So Matha Teke, now we're gonna go eat something. And it's a Gurdwara of histor historical relevance. We've asked God for everything nice and now we are back. The relevance of the Gurdwara is that the sixth Guru, Guru Hargobind Singh Ji, visited here twice on its travels back and forth from places. So that's how it gets the name. Quite a cool spot, I'd say. <laughs> nice opportunity for us to also visit it. And as always, we prayed for the basics, just God's assistance and we reaffirm that we are subject to the divine will and let me show you the views because this is ayali kala which is basically a pinned check it out oh the koji let's go i can do a photo shoot here whoa whoa nice right looks solid whoa we are here and this actually looks like united states look at that bro I mean, you might have seen all of our social media, but I'll, I'll be honest, looks pretty neat. Like, good job, man. Well executed. Whoever did this, good job. That just tells you Indians can do such a good job with design if they are so inspired. But here we are to see if we can get something for my mum. And then we shall go back to the hotel, have a cup of tea, because the man needs a nice cup of tea. Relax a bit, and then, of course, my session begins. So that's the entire plan 
Yeah, see if we get something for my mom. Just maybe take a power nap. Very important. <laughs> all right, we didn't buy anything at all. Just didn't like it. And we're ready to go back and rest up, man. But I shall repeat, this is good design. This looks good. Looks very nice. It just tells you about the power of the Indian consumer who is here to spend all he has and buy fat logos. <laughs> but yeah, okay, to each its own, right? Now we look forward to a cup of tea and then the session. But before that, a power nap. Yo, we've just got to the hotel and here we go. Something interesting, which tells me I need more clothes and more photos. Look at that, man, this shining. This is all God's plan. We're gonna level up with Sikh investor, Karan Gulati, Friday, 4th October. Yeah, nice shirt there, which is a gift. Nice bug, which is a gift by the sister. The pants I purchased myself and the watch again is a gift by the sister. I'm gonna be wearing the same turban today. The pants, I think should be the same. <laughs> and I'll change the polo because I haven't carried that one anyway. Oh God, I need more clothes. I actually need formal wear, but very, very happy with this development. All God's plan. A cup of tea is being had. I have one hour to properly relax, but I also have to edit my video. Oh man, could use a foot massage right now. If this was Bangkok and there was a foot massage place right opposite my hotel, because in Bangkok there is one. We stayed at Marriott, Marquis as it's called by the locals. But I still think it should be pronounced Marquis. Because it's a Marquis, right? The word is Marquis. Anyway, there's a place opposite Marriott Marquis. It just does foot massages. God, it's heavenly. That's what I like about these places because they specialize in foot massages, right? If a place does like 20,000 treatments, dude, they're going to be average in all of them. But if a place does like foot treatment, and that's all they do. That's all they're focusing on. <laughs> Foot massage. The hotel does have a spa, but then who's gonna go and waste more time? I need something right here. Yeah, I'm just gonna edit my Instagram video. After that, you'll see my event and how it goes. It's a pretty cute little room, much like, much like Raipur. And we'll end the day and not going out anywhere, eat in the hotel and then call it a night and then get proper sleep in. And then tomorrow again hit the gym because we got to drive back to Dardun and we can't do without hitting the gym. And I won't get the opportunity to work out once I'm there. So yeah, but tomorrow is also a meetup. Just, just going to write on my story now. Whoever wants to come hang out, just say hi. You can come to the hotel at 11. All right. Cheers. Fit check indeed. Shirt's damn tight, but you can't do anything about it. And we're wearing the same pants, everything. Remains the same, a decent watch. We're good to go. I'm actually thinking, man, what, what am I supposed to talk about? Like, you know, like, how am I supposed to start? Because once you start it, the flow really just takes over. But what am I starting with? Like, hey guys, what's up? How are you doing? What do you hate doing in your lives? Why are you here? And they're like, we were made to come here. But anyway, let's see how it goes. We are ready to go crush it. Let's go, let's go. There's a bit of nervousness, but I embrace it. It is an integral part of the human experience. I do not ask myself, dude, why am I nervous? It's human to be nervous, but we shall crush it. <laughs> Hello guys, how are you? I'm Karan, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, sir. Hello, I'm Karan, Anji. How was your day? Good, good. How was your day? Yeah, yeah wonderful. Wonderful. Just spent uh, my day going around the city. Okay. Tonight, we are thrilled to welcome Mr. Karan Gulati, that sixth investor. Thank you. Karan is a seasoned stock trader and a performance coach, and he will be sharing valuable insights into stock trading and the power of mindset and discipline today. We welcome you, Karan. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. And what does your perfect day look like? Within your value base and your desires, what's your ideal day? Ideal life. Because according to this question, you will have to formulate your daily systems and your template of point 11. Let's go with you. Do you have any mistakes that you always think about? <laughs> 
Except the management, because I think a lot of you might be like, yeah, that was a mistake. There's this guy called David Hawkins. He, he has this brilliant thing called a map of consciousness. He says uh, he's given all states of the mind an energetic number. So if you're operating at 20 out of 1,000, then you're barely human, then you're barely surviving. And of course, 350, 400 are amazing states to be at. Guilt, shame, and regret are the worst states to be living in. Thank you, Kevin. It was lovely having you. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. <laughs> All righty, fam. The session is done, bro. Killed it as always. So I'm treating myself to a fresh lime soda. This is my treat to myself. Ever since I was a kid, I would love this stuff. It's like drugs for me. Love it. Anyway, this is done. I've got my laptop open because I'm answering all DMs about the meetup tomorrow. A lot of people have expressed interest. I doubt all of them are going to show up. Because someone says, yeah, my school is tomorrow, my school is tomorrow. No problem. So, um, yeah, then we'll go to the Gurdwara. But before, when I wake up, I want to do a workout. That's very important. Then go to a Gurdwara. And then we have plans of going to Patiala for lunch. We'll just do that, maybe. Because um, Mr. Karm Naresh is inviting us to his restaurant. But let's see how that goes. But it was a beautiful event. I'm very grateful. I hope you enjoyed these snippets. And I'm also also having this um, fresh lime because the rice that we had at dinner was nasty. It had so much keo in it. And like long and then kishmish and cardamom. Like what the hell? Who adds that stuff to rice? But anyway, <laughs> my sister's having tea. I'm having a fresh lime soda and it's 11.30. I'm going to take your leaves, see you on the morrow. Good morning, YouTube. It's another day in Ludhiana, our last day. And I'm here for breakfast, but I've just done a five kilometer run. As you can see, I don't know if you can spot the sweat, but it was there a while back. And now after breakfast, which comprises a gobi paratha, four eggs, scrambled, besan da chila, and what else? A watermelon juice and some fruits. After this, we're going to do a meetup right here. I don't know how everyone's going to fit in, how many people are coming in. It's just a surprise. It's free of cost. We've kept it. And then we might be on our way to Patiala. Can't confirm the same. But before that, we're going to go to a Gurdwara here, Dukh Nibaran. So quite a busy day, quite a packed day. And my car also needed to go to the service station, which I'll tell you in a moment what really transpired. The perils of owning something luxurious. But more on that in a while, let me enjoy my Gobbida Parotha. Learn to challenge your mind. When your mind says, Chhat de, it's okay, sleep in, have that dessert. Try to say, try to put your mind separately. Put it out here and talk to it. And be like, you know what, how about I don't listen to you now? What happens then? Do it as a social experiment. Talk to your mind. You want me to sleep in, but what, is, what has that done for me so far? Right? Not much. Hi. Hi, I'm Prachi. Welcome, welcome, Prachi. How Please, are you? very well. Very I'm sorry, I'm late. No problem. Just grab a chair right here. Okay, thank you, everyone. I'm going to have to rush. Thank you so much. Thank you for showing up. You know, it humbles me that people want to come and say hi to me. And I hope uh, each one of you will be a different person when I come to Ludhiana next. All righty. Thank you, everyone. God bless you all. Thank you. It's my pleasure. It's my pleasure, yeah. Come on. Thank you so much Thank for coming, Sachikalji. Keep hitting the gym. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And see you all next time when I'm in the city. Please be in touch. And uh, God bless you all. All right. Our trip to Ludhiana comes to an end with Darshan at Dukh Nivaran Sahib Gurdwara. And there's a literal train going by. So it's right next to the bridge. It's a literal, legit train. There we go. Let's see what's going on. Chaloki cross Kardine. We are crossing. Wow, that's true India. That's the reality. But anyway, God bless us all. 
It's a beautiful, beautiful Gurdwara. Beautiful Gurdwara. And I'm very happy that I'm here. I honestly think all of this is just God's plan. It's all God's plan. I didn't decide to come here. I think God had willed that I should be here. And that's how I find myself here. Okay, we're gonna take a matha at the Nishan Sahib. Shri Nishan Sahib de Bhatte Upar Kise Vi Taranda Saman Rakhna Sakt Mana Hai Vahikuru Ji it's a beautiful religion. All right, with this, our trip to Ludhiana comes to an end, and now we are ready to get back home. All righty, fam, this was one of the finest ways to end our trip to Ludhiana with Darshan at Dukh Nivaran Sahib Gurdwara. What a beautiful experience! Prashadi Khadda. Very tasty, very tasty indeed. And just the vibes were immaculate. You know what I mean? It's just a good experience. I'm glad we came here. Next time we should have langar as well. But that's for another time. Now we are on our way to Patiale, which is 94 kilometers away. And this ends my Ludhiana vlog where we got some work done. We got three workouts done where we ate clean food throughout no alcohol was consumed no chicken was consumed and it was a productive trip overall we were connected to our mind body and soul as well so pretty happy and now we are off to Patiala and then back home so pretty excited to go home thank you for supporting me thank you for watching this like subscribe comment and I hope this really helped you. See you later, guys.